So let's say that r is equal to 6 sine theta, and our goal is to find the length of the polar curve over the interval where theta is between 0 and pi over 2. So what's the formula that we need to find the arc length? The arc length is going to be the integral from alpha to beta square root r squared plus dr d theta squared and then d theta. So what's alpha and what's beta in this problem? Alpha is 0, beta is pi over 2. And we already have r. The only thing we're missing is dr d theta. So we need to differentiate this expression. The derivative of 6 sine theta is 6 cosine theta. So now that we have dr d theta, we can plug in everything into this expression. So we're going to have the integral from 0 to pi over 2, and then square root r is 6 sine theta, and we need to square that expression, and then dr d theta, that's 6 cosine theta. Now 6 squared is 36. So this is going to be 36 sine squared theta plus 36 cosine squared theta. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the 6, I mean the 36. So it's going to be square root 36 and then sine squared plus cosine squared. Now there's a Pythagorean identity that you need to know. What is sine squared plus cosine squared? Sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So right now we have the square root of 36, which is 6. And the antiderivative of 6 d theta is going to be 6 theta. We're going to evaluate it from 0 to pi over 2. So this is going to be 6 times pi over 2 minus 6 times 0. And 6 divided by 2 is 3, so the final answer is 3 pi. So that is the arc length from 0 to pi. Now let's draw a picture of the graph. So we said that r is equal to 6 sine theta. And this is basically a circle along the y-axis. And this circle ends at 6. So the diameter of this circle is 6, which means the radius of the circle is 3 units long. Now along this line we have the angle theta equals 0 and along this line we have the angle theta equals pi over 2. So we calculated the arc length from 0 to pi over 2. So basically we have the length of that segment highlighted in white. Another way we could calculate it is by using the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a full circle is 2 pi r. So for half of a circle it's pi r. And the radius we said was 3. So it's going to be pi times 3, which is 3 pi. And so that is in agreement with our answer. So that is the arc length going from 0 to pi over 2. Now let's work on another problem. Let's say that r is 1 plus sine theta. And let's say that the angle theta is between 0 and 2 pi. So let's begin with a graph. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try it. So this graph looks something like this. So this is 0, pi over 2, pi, and 2 pi. So we need to graph it from 0 all the way to pi over 2 to pi. This is 3 pi over 2 and then 2 pi. So we want to find the arc length of that line highlighted in blue. So the first thing we need to do is calculate dr d theta. The derivative of 1 plus sine is cosine theta. And now we can find the arc length using this formula. So it's the integral from alpha to beta square root r squared plus 
dr d theta squared d theta. So alpha is 0, beta is 2 pi, based on the values that we see here. And r is 1 plus sine theta. dr d theta, that's cosine theta. And so if you plug in this integral into your graphing calculator, you should get 8 as your answer. So that is the arc length from 0 to 2 pi. Try this one. Let's say r is equal to 5. And we want to find the arc length from 0 to 2 pi. What can we do? r equals 5 is basically a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 5. So we need to find the arc length of the entire circle. So basically, we're looking for the circumference, which is 2 pi r. So it's going to be 2 pi times 5. And so the answer that we should get is 10 pi. Now let's confirm that answer using calculus. So I'm just going to write it here, just for reference. So r is 5, which means that dr d theta is 0. So using the formula, the arc length is going to be the integral from alpha to beta, square root, r squared plus dr d theta squared. We're going to have the integral from 0 to 2 pi, square root, 5 squared plus 0 squared. Now 5 squared is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So we're integrating 5 d theta which is 5 theta, evaluated from 0 to 2 pi. And so this is going to be 5 times 2 pi minus 5 times 0. And so the arc length is 10 pi. So you can get your answer both ways. Let's work on another problem. So let's say that r is 2 theta, and we wish to find the arc length from 0 to pi over 2. Go ahead and graph the function and determine the arc length in this region. So this particular graph is a spiral, and it looks something like this if you expand your view in a region. But we only want from 0 to pi over 2, so we want just this region. So here's an expanded view. And so we want to find the arc length of the portion of the curve that's highlighted in blue. Because it's bounded by x equals, I mean theta equals 0, and theta equal pi over 2. So let's go ahead and use the arc length formula. So it's the integral from alpha to beta square root r squared plus dr d theta squared d theta. So we can see that alpha is 0 and beta is pi over 2. And so we're going to integrate it from 0 to pi over 2. And then we know what r squared is. r is 2 theta. So we need to square it. So r squared is going to be 4 theta squared. Now we've got to find dr d theta. So that is the derivative of 2 theta with respect to theta, which is equal to 2. And so this is going to be 2 squared. So let's simplify this expression. So this is going to be 4 theta squared plus 4. So what we could do is factor out the 4. And we're going to have theta squared plus 1 on the inside. So at this point, you could separate it into two radicals. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So then we have this expression, 2 times the definite integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the square root of theta squared plus 1 d theta. And if you type that in your calculator, you should get 
3765. So we can round that and say it's about 4.158. And so that is the arc length going from 0 to pi over 2.